Jen Stitching Knit. I'm back for my next video. I think this is video number nine, but I'm not sure. I have to look, but um, it's been a while. It's been a busy beginning of the semester at USM, so that's taken a lot of my time. Plus, I've been writing, working on revising the textbook, and that's been taking a lot of time, and so it's been crazy. I'm so tired, but it could be worse, so I'm not going to complain too much. Um, so I can't remember the last time I did the video. I know it was, I think the last video is the one when Teresa and I did our second video, and I think that was early August or mid-August, and she and I both have been working so hard with the new semester, so it's been crazy. But I'm back. I've been watching videos in my free time trying to comment on many of them and I've had a lot of really nice comments and people contacting me asking if I was going to do a video making sure I was okay so thank you very much it's just been busy 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 we've had an increase in enrollment at USM which is great but I teach high enrollment classes which means that enrollments even higher and we do active learning which is um, I don't lecture all the time I do some lectures but then I make the students do work in class which is super fun at least from my perspective and that takes planning it takes time and so by the end of the day on the days that we do that I'm tired so I try to wear my Fitbit when we do active learning because I get in steps because we're still in one of those lecture halls that we have um, I think it's 13 rows of, of, of um, seats a total of 24 seats per row they're not all full but my classes are 150 to 190 students and I teach three of those classes so lots of students get to talk to almost every one of them when we do the active learning so but it's it's good um, I'll edit all that out because that has nothing to do with cross stitching um so I have had some finishes I try to post them on Instagram when I do finish something so some of you may have already seen these but I'll show you a few of the finishes that I've had I know since my last video um, my latest is this one, Pumpkins 3 by Lottie Da, which I love this. I thought it turned out really cute, and I'm going to finish this as a pillow with some type of trim, something like that. Um, this is Homespun Elegance Delivering Autumn, so cute, and I just have to put two buttons on the wagon to make the wheels. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. This is Olga's Tart from Plum Street Sampler. This is in the Jack's Sweet Shop series. And I'm going to finish this as a tart, just like the, it's um, suggested. I've done a couple of these, so here's one that I did last year. And they're easy. So, And I've got the little pan, so I'll finish that up. And then my last finish is... The Sleepy Hollow Sampler from Raise the Roof. So I had this almost finished when I was doing my whip parade. I just needed to finish the um, the Headless Horseman in the ground underneath him. And so I've done that, and I've just got to go find a frame. I'm wanting to put things in the state fair, but I don't think I'm going to get it anything ready for the state fair because we have to have everything entered or we have to drop everything off in Jackson, Mississippi, which is about an hour and a half drive from my home. And it's next Friday. And I won't be able to do that because next Thursday I'm leaving to go to Memphis. Well, not Memphis, near Memphis, for one of Katrina Boyd's retreats, which I'm excited. If you haven't been to one of Katrina's retreats, you should go. So I know the Georgia Stitchers have been really talking it up because they all went to the Marietta retreat and Katrina's great. I, this will be the third retreat that I've been to um, hosted by Katrina. I found out about it from Dina from Half Stitch Cross Stitch mentioned it and my sisters and friend and I went to her, the first of her retreats that we went to was um, in Orange Beach, Alabama and then this summer we went to one in Franklin, Tennessee, just south of Nashville, and so this will be our third one. I'm so excited. Three days of cross-stitching. Woohoo! So, um, so those are some of my finishes. I'm going to continue to work on my whips and my 
schedule that I have put together. I, don't, I you know, do a three-day rotation. Every three days I switch to a new project and I'm using my XStitch app so that I'm doing a, um, do, going through the, my whips alphabetically. And then every day I have a, just a random piece that I stitch on. So um, by the end of the year, I will have stitched on every one of my projects at least one day. So um, one of the other things that I've done since the last time I saw you is I've done some collecting. I got two weeks into the semester and after watching Jessica on Schoolgirl Stitcher talk about some of the charts that she got at Cross Stitch Peddler in Decatur, Alabama, I'm like, I've got to go because I love that shop. I went a couple of years ago through that area of Alabama and stopped at several shops and got some really great buys. And I'm like, oh no, now those people are going to find out about the that special place and then there, all the good stuff's going to go. So I made a reservation at a hotel in Huntsville. Told my husband, I'm going, you can go with me or you can stay home. And so he came with me. Um, that Saturday morning, I dropped him off at the U.S. Space Rocket Center in Huntsville. And I drove to Decatur and spent about two hours there shopping at the Cross Stitch Peddler and talking to the shop owner. She's super sweet and got a bunch of great, great finds. And then I drove over to, I drove back to Huntsville, picked up my husband, and we drove to um, Guntersville, Alabama, which is east of Huntsville. And we went by the um, Stitcher's Haven, which is another great shop. And I picked up a couple of things there. And then we drove home. So it was just one night, but I got um, a little bit of relaxation and got to collect some stuff. So I'm going to show you what I picked up on that trip. Um, I got most of the um, things at Cross Stitch Peddler. I spent more time there. So let's see. I'll start with this one. I think I saw this on Dina's channel from Half Stitch Cross Stitch. I think it was hers. Maybe it wasn't. But I just thought this was cute. And I almost missed this because I had shopped and shopped and didn't realize that you could go into the back portion of the shop. And she's like, yeah, you can go back there. And then I found a whole bunch of other stuff. So I just think that's so cute. I'd collect Santas. So I can't wait to stitch that one. I got... Chester from the Good Hus Huswife, which I love cats. His nose is a little too human for me. I gotta make some adjustments. Um, kind of, I don't like his nose. Maybe I'll just make the color of the nose the same as the rest of his face, but that's cute. We got a bees gathering from Threadwork Primitives. Love those bees. This is the Sewing Circle Friendship Garden 2. I thought that was really cute. Another Sewing Circle. This is Clover and Honey. This is another um, pattern from the Good Huswife. This is Our House. I love the colors in that. This reminds me of a puzzle I put together, one of the Charles Wysocki puzzles. So I think that's cute. Let's see. All right, so this is another one that I got, another good housewife. I love peacocks. This is just too pretty. It's called Pumpkins and peacocks. Love, love that one. And then I got a lot of primitive needle. So several primitive needle. One is gather. And then I got the companion gaze. There you go. And this is, I don't know how you say that, but frisbee. It's just another primitive sampler. Primitive Needle A and E. This 
Salem Witch by the Primitive Needle. Those are so cute. And then my favorite one that I got of Female Arts by the Primitive Needle. I love the colors. I love that whole pattern. And then finally, I picked up a Prairie Schooler Trick or Treat. So cute. And I think, isn't this the one that Priscilla and Sh uh, Priscilla just showed on one of her videos? If so, I'm excited because I'm going to have to figure out how to finish it just like hers. If you haven't been watching Priscilla and Chelsea, you need to. Oh my goodness. Hobby Lobby should pay them because now I cannot go into Hobby Lobby without spending money so I can decorate my house like Priscilla and Chelsea. They are amazing. If you haven't watched them, go watch them. Um, one last thing from Cross Stitch Peddler. This is just a homespun elegance, just kind of a goofy looking Halloween piece. And that cat's carrying a fish. So those were from Cross Stitch Peddler. And there were, she had so, she has so many great patterns. Um, then I left there, picked up my husband, went over to Guntersville and stopped at Stitcher's Haven. So I only picked up a couple of things there. This is Bright Needle Spooky Halloween. And that's so cute. All those little motifs. And I paid for it. It was $11.50. I had no problem. And then when I was looking at it in the car, I didn't realize it had come with all the threads. So these are old willow hand-dyed threads, which I believe are discontinued now. So I got the threads, too. What a deal. And then Homespun Elegance, all about Halloween. And I'm going to make that cat because he's just crazy looking. I think I'm going to change the color of his face, though. That's cute. So that was my haul. My husband was very nice. Well, he, he didn't have to go, but he was very nice about it while I did my shopping. Oh, I did have one other one. I love this. This is called Winter Floral from Knotted Tree. I got this at Stitcher's Haven. I just love that blue, that red bird. So cute. So lots of lots of great things. Um, so that was one you know one weekend. Um, I also look on Craigslist all the time because I want to be one of those people that finds somebody that's collected every wonderful cross stitch pattern that everybody wants to buy and decides to sell them for 50 cents a piece on Craigslist. I want that to happen. And so I watch it and um, this summer I actually found some I, a listing from a lady on the Gulf Coast of Mississippi which is about an hour's drive from my house that had listed all of that she was selling her cross stitch. So I convinced my sister to drive down there with me to a stranger's house to go through cross stitching and fortunately it was a very nice lady who had a really great um, collection and she sold me a lot of really great patterns for a good price. I think I ended up paying maybe a dollar, maybe less than a dollar a piece, but and then my sister took home about a stack like that. So wasn't too bad. So I'll show you these really quickly. Now, she was a smoker, so there is a little bit of a smoke smell to these, but it's not horrible. My in-laws were smokers, and it's not as bad as their house, so I guess I, I have something to compare it to. But one thing was this Blackbird Design, the fine collection. So this one has several different patterns in it. Let's see if I can find. A lot of them are in. Black and white. There's that one. That one. So there it's a monthly series. So there's something for every month. That November one's really pretty. August. September. Cute squirrel. There's June with strawberries. January. There's December. This is just called Friendship Gathering. It's the cover piece. 
And then I love this one, July Celebration. I want to stitch that one for sure. And then this one. Love that. October Har October's Harvest. So, like two bucks. Maybe. A dollar. I didn't pay very much. I think I paid $50 for the entire stack of what I bought from, and my sister took home probably 15 So, less than a dollar. Uh, less than two dollars a piece. This is another one. Barrett Sampler Christmas Fruit Ornament. I love that. Um, the Sampler House, the Field of Berries Sampler. So cute. I love band samplers. This is Mary Gary Sewing Cabin. When I was young and in my prime. Here you may see that I spent my time with needle and fine embroidery. So cute. She loved, um, what you call it? The drawn thread. I'm going to be flashing people. So the drawn thread, the Wayward Garden. Lots of detail. And I like these delicate little ones, but I don't stitch them very often. I collect them, but I haven't stitched very many of them. This is from C Street Sampler Works. I sign not for beauty. It says, I sigh not for beauty nor languish for wealth, but grant me kind providence, virtue, and health. Then richer than kings and more happy than they, my days will pass swiftly and sweetly away. Very cute. Or very pretty. Hands to work. Return the kindnesses. Love me. Love those bunnies. Um, hands to work. Bird in the hand. Um, Quaker, Quaker Diamonds, Hillside Sampling. I think I saw this on Abby's, one of her videos. I can't wait to stitch that one. This is Elizabeth Gardens, a Pennsylvania bird. Isn't that pretty? I love that bird. And it came with the linen. A Haunting Mermaid by Carriage House Sampling. Drawn Thread, Three Friends. Mary Gary Sewing Cabin, Remember Me. The Drawn Thread, The Treasure Box. And it came with the threads, the silks, and the um, beads. Jeanette Douglas Designs, My Stitching Treasures. I love those. Lottie Da, Leaping Cat. I know this is in a book that you can get at Hobby Lobby now, I think, but so cute. The Drawn Thread, The Cat's Meow. Prairie Schooler, Spring Samplers. That little bunny with his umbrella is too cute. Hester's Needle, Kind Hearts Sampler. With my needle, Quaker needle work treasures. I'm, I love that little book right there. Right there. So cute. The sampler sampler by Bright Needle. That's funny. But look at all those cute little houses. The drawn thread, the perennial border. And I actually end up with two of these. For My Friend by Blackbird Design. And so it has this sampler and then that wool table runner, which I can't wait to stitch. And then that piece right there. Another Blackbird Design with my needle. This is Sampler and Such, IRK 1812 Sampler. I'm telling you, there's a lot. She had, and it's, we didn't put a dent in her collection. Cinnamon Heart Needleworks, Rabbit Garden. So cute. 
and sunflower samplings, floral urn, not the greatest picture, and then peacock cipher from Just Nan, and it comes with the embellishment pack, which has a, you can't see it very well, but there's a peacock charm. So that was what I kept. And then my sister, like I said, she took several. I think she took about 12. And then I picked these up, but I don't want them. So if anybody's, I'm not going to do this as a giveaway. It's just if anybody wants them, first person that mentions it, I'll just send it to you. So there's this. This is a Stony Creek. Um, a sampler kit. This is just the chart, anniversary wedding sampler. Terry Chatelaine. And it comes with everything. And the drawn thread, the perennial border from the drawn thread. And the reason I'm just anybody that's whoever asks first can get them. Um, and pick one. That way there's four people that can get something. Um, they do. Remember, the person that had these was a smoker. It's not a strong smell, but it still has a smell to it. So if you're interested, just comment below. Pick one, and then I'll send one to four different people. So that's my Stitchy collection. Oh, no, I still have more. Hold on, because I've been on Stash Unload. Good Lord. Just one thing about doing these videos is you start to realize that mm, you shouldn't be buying all this stuff. So... This, I also got this from Cross Stitch Peddler. That was one of the releases from With Thy Needle and Thread. Um, from Stash Unload, I picked up Sampler Folk. Folk. Did y'all hear my southern accent? And then from just ordering for my Etsy store. It's one of the things I love. I also picked up the Queen Sampler. From the needles praise will i ever stitch this i don't know but i got it just in case spirits and spells by with thy needle and thread or brenda gervais and oh my goodness isn't that beautiful hands-on design sunflower manor so if you haven't watched priscilla and chelsea you need to so when she, you know, I've got the other two of these, and I'm like, I like these. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I like them. And when she showed what she did with it, I'm like, okay, I'm sold. So I immediately went to Hobby Lobby and picked up the board. So it, they were 50% off the day I went, so I paid $12.50 for it. But I'm going to be like Priscilla. She's amazing. That woman is creative. So thank you, Priscilla for sharing all of your wonderful, wonderful ideas. Um, I just saw another finish. I have finished several things while since I saw you last. So this was another one of my finishes. I love these little Just Nan mice. And at the Cross Stitch Peddler, I picked up three of these. But I finished Witchy Mouse. Isn't that cute? And I'm display it next to... The Spook House from Just Man. I got this at the Silver Needle Retreat. My sister got it, the pattern or the kit, and I got it. And um, I'm the only one that has finished it. But it's kind of, my nephew took it apart. He likes to play with it. So, I'll fix that later. All right, so that is some of my collecting that I've done. Um, I've only spent 24 minutes with you, so I'll talk a little bit about plans. Um, one of the things that I decided, I haven't been starting things much. <laughs> so uh, my plan at the beginning of the year was I would start something new on the 17th of each month, but that didn't work. Um, so I've been working on the ones that I started during that crazy time this time last year when I started something new every day. I did start some new projects during May, during Stitch Mania. And then I kind of was like, I really want to stitch something different. These 100 projects that I have just aren't interesting to me anymore. 
So I decided I would give myself a little leeway and I started one new project. And that was on the 9th of September. And what I started, where did I put it? On the 9th of September, I started a new project. So let me tell you the story behind it. I was on eBay because I want to be like Jessica and find amazing deals on Primitive Needle on eBay. Well, I didn't find a great deal, but I did find this. So Halloween from the Primitive Needle. It's really cute. I bought it. Paid too much for it, but I bought it. And then the 1st of September, Teresa gave me this beautiful fabric from XJU Designs. It's 40 count jack-o'-lantern. So I started this on that fabric and there's my star. I think it's gonna look wonderful. Thank you, Teresa. Well, while I was at Cross Stitch Peddler, she had this chart. And when I posted the picture on Instagram of my plan to start this, I got lots and lots of comments. And um, Nicole from Buckeye Stitcher contacted me about it and I, to see if I could get it at, in my Etsy store, and I can't. But I told her, hey, it was at Cross Stitch Peddler when I was there two weeks ago. Call her. Gave her the phone number, and she called her, and she got it. So good for you, Nicole. Well, that's my September start, so I'm going to start a new project in October. And I'm going to start this one. I have two of these. No, I have this one and I have our Christmas one. So this is Hilda's Alphabet Brew. Here, I'll take it out of the plastic. Isn't that cute? And this is stitched on what's called Fine Ariosa. Well, when I was ordering for my Etsy store, that's me throwing cat hair off of something, picked it off the wall. Um, at one of my distributors, they had this in white on special. So I ordered some and I cut a piece of it off for me and I just dyed it in some coffee and tea. And I'm going to start this Hilda's Alphabet Brew on the called for 22 count fabric in October. So look at me, I'm dyeing my own fabric. I think it turned out really nice. You can see a little bit of modeling, but not too much. So my husband's a coffee drinker. I'm not much of a coffee drinker. If he makes it for me, I'll drink it. But the other day I was at, we live in Sumrall. It's between two larger towns. There's Hattiesburg, which is pretty good, and Columbia, which is smaller, but still bigger than my hometown. And they both have Walmarts, and it depends on which way I want to go. Hattiesburg is where I usually go because that's where I work. But every now and then, you, I'll go out to Columbia Walmart because it's not as busy, and they have all kinds of things you wouldn't think that you would find in South Mississippi. So I was there grocery shopping, and I found the pumpkin spice coffee creamer and the peppermint mocha. So I've been drinking coffee the past week. Not a lot. I don't drink a lot of coffee. So those are my plans for October. What I'm stitching on this week, or well, I'm supposed to be stitching on, I haven't stitched in the past two days. Um, I'm gonna work on this pretty lady. So that's Hol Royal Holiday or Christmas Queen. And I'm stitching her, if you recall, on this um, dark green fabric. I've got a little bit of a start. Not much, but that's so pretty. I love that fabric. And so I'm going to stitch on her tonight if I get a chance. And then the other thing I'm going to work on this weekend is with thy needle and thread sampler of the seasons autumn. And I am I've got a lot on this done. I've got almost the entire top finished. Isn't that pretty? I love those colors and that squirrel. So, and that's a piece of 40 count vintage exemplar. So that's what I'm going to work on this weekend if I get to stitch. 
this is a horrible bag I made using the little license plates that you can pick up at the different quilt stores on that, um, what is it called, row by row. So this is from last year. Got the Peace Sanity from a shop in Gaucher, Mississippi. That's Gaucher. And then the Fabric Dock in Wiggins. If you're ever near Wiggins, go. This is on Highway 49. They have the best selection of Fabric Dock. Pick Cotton, that's the Cotton Blossom Fabric Shop in Madison. I've never been there. My sister-in-law got that for me. And Sew Down South, let's make something in Laurel, Mississippi. Oops, sorry. Sewing Fun, Coastal, um, supposed to be Coastal Sewing back, I thought, but in Gulfport, Mississippi. Patches and Stitches in Huntsville, Alabama. And then the other one is Mississippi Stitching in the, at the Stitching Post in Hattiesburg. So that's last year's. I didn't get as many this year. I did go to a few shops, but I didn't get to go and do as much as I wanted. Um, I'm not teaching this summer. I'm not teaching this summer. I keep telling everybody, I am not teaching this summer. I'm taking the summer off. At least I'm not teaching this summer. I'm going to say that so many times so people believe it. But um, my plan is to go to some retreats, go do some stitching, just stitching, traveling, and stuff like that. Because I'm not teaching this summer. <coughs> when I say this summer, that's 2018. So, I'm not teaching this summer. Um, I guess for the next few minutes, I'll show you some more of my old finishes. I know I can't remember what I've shown, shown you and what I haven't. So, I'm just pulling things out of this big of mine over here and I'll show you what I've got. Some of them I don't remember but I think this is a this might be a blackbird design piece from 2015 that I'm planning on finishing like they did as a pin cushion. There's the April Cottage from Country Cottage Needleworks. I'm going to finish this as a no sew cube. That's on Silk Weaver. Lemon Zest. I love the color of that fabric. And I love purple and yellow together. This is, um, what is it, Scatter Sunshine from Shepherd's Bush. And this is on a piece of, it's like 16 count Ada. Now this is one that I stitched. And this is where, I don't know if you watch Sherry Burkett, but she talks about you shouldn't leave your silk weaver fabric folded and in those plastic bags. This is what happened. You see that line right there? So that was a Country Cottage Needleworks dream. So cute though. There's another little pin cushion. I think this one's from With Thy Needle and Thread from 2015. I don't know what the name of it is. Here's a spring house from Lizzie Kate. It's just on a piece of silk weaver. Isn't that pretty? That's Blackbird Design, Tricks or Treat. I stitched that in 2010. That's seven years ago. I need to finish this. The plan was to finish this on top of a wooden box. I just haven't done it yet. If I've shown these in other videos, I'm sorry, but they're so pretty. You should love to see them again. This is, this is Halloween by Raise the Roof. on a piece of silk weaver that I got years ago. I love that house. The colors in this are great. This did a great job. There's a needle in there. This is from Prairie Schooler. It's just one of the little, I think this was one of the little cards, the freebie cards they used to have. Pumpkin Harvest, I believe, from Blackbird Design, just on a piece of silk weaver. Here we go. So this is Halloween Town from Raise the Roof. This was a thread pack series that she did with Crescent Colors and Belle Soir. And I've got, I bought the frame to frame this, but this is too stretchy. I stitched it on the piece and it, when it stretches, it's too big for the frame. So I have to get a different frame. 
This is um, Bent Creek Spooky Branch or Halloween Branch. And that little Halloween house or spooky house is too cute. Can you tell I like ha stitching Halloween stuff? This is Raise the Roof, Boo Scurry Young. It's a piece of picture this plus. It calls for barnwood, but I think this is a different color that was discontinued. Lizzie Kate, Halloween alphabet. I have no idea what fabric this is. It is not silk weaver, I don't think. Lottie Da, Nevermore. Mm. No, that's not it. Once Upon a Midnight Dreary. So cute. I think this is the trilogy. And it's Spooky Rose. I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I stitched this one. And I was going to make this into a box top. It's on a piece of even weave from Silk Weaver. I see my pup. Go lie down. Go lie down. Go lie down. No. Thank you. All right, here's another Halloween piece. This is from Blue Ribbon Designs, and I don't remember the name of it, but this is on a piece of silk weave, Pumpkin Cottage from Country Cottage Needleworks. And this is Two Red Houses by Little House Needleworks. So those are some of my older finishes. I still have more, but we'll save those for another video. Those are Christmassy things. Um, I also love to do punch needles, so I'll share some of my punch needle. Just, I'm sorry, I left this out and one of our cats slept on it. Maybe you won't see the cat hair. But this is from um, Threads That Bind. I love her stuff. And then I did, I've did. i done the um, seasonal from Lizzie Kate. There's autumn and spring. So, I, punch needle, when I first tried it, I tried it at a, a kit that I'd gotten at Michael's, I think, and I hated it. It was ugly and it wasn't fun, but it had a lot to do with the fabric that, I, that came with the kit. And Teresa convinced me to try one of these better kits and I love it. And so now I, I love to do punch needle. So thank you, Teresa. All right. Say hello to Seth. Come on, come on, jump up. All right, look, look, look. Sally, be nice. This is Sally. Don't kiss me. We don't do kisses. This is Sally. She's our princess. And I've probably shown you her many, many times, but she is a, she's three years old, Boston Terrier, spoiled, spoiled princess. She's allergic to everything, so she has to take Benadryl every night. And she's my husband's pride and joy. And she's very spoiled. When, she, when I'm stitching, she does that little scratch, scratch, scratch. Wants me to move, move your cross stitch so I can sit right next to you. But she's sweet. All right, hop down before you get hurt. Before you fall. Go on, get down. All right, so that's Sally. Good. And... I guess that's it. Um, again, I'm sorry it's been so long since my last video. It's been crazy, but hopefully I'll get back on schedule with recording and uploading these things. Um, if you have a chance, go by and visit my Etsy store, jenstitchingniche.etsy.com. Um, I uploaded a whole bunch of stuff. I got a big order from Hoffman um, two weeks ago and another big order from my distributor two days ago and I spent um, Wednesday night photographing and listing everything. So lots of really fun stuff. So if you get a chance, go by and visit. If you need anything, let me know. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. And um, again, if you're interested in those charts that I show, just leave a comment. Now, I do have a thousand subscribers, so I want to do a giveaway. And my giveaway is going to be a group of charts. These are not from the, the charts where um, 
I picked up from the lady, but these are my last few finishes. So it's going to include Plum Street Samplers Olga's Tart, Raise the Roof, the Sleepy Hollow Sampler, Not Forgotten Farms, the Bee Sampler, Lottie Da, Pumpkins 3, Homespun Elegance, Delivering Autumn, Little House Needleworks, what is this, Summer Splendor, and Raise the Roof, this is Christmas. So all of these are used, but if you're interested, um, this is going to be the giveaway for um, my 1,000 subscriber benchmark. Um, just leave a comment below. Don't say anything about a giveaway. It's the standard floss tube kind of drawing thing. Um, just list your favorite um, holiday. We'll do it that way. What's your favorite holiday? What's your favorite stitching holiday? And um, I'll do the drawing on October. Let's do October 4th. Okay. Um, trying to think of what yeah just your favorite stitching holiday okay all right well it was great to talk to you again if you have any questions just leave a comment thank you